Yo, what's up? This is Lamar Reynolds. All rights reserved. Been far along. Thank you for far along. I told y'all I was going to come back and um, show y'all some particulars of my case. And I'm, I'm just going to fight my case. And I'm going to win my case. And I'm going to show y'all and take y'all through every day, every step of the way till I win my case. I go to court on um, February 22nd, 2011, 8.30. So I'll be, I'll be going to court. And I'm going to demonstrate everything I'm telling y'all and everything I'm exposing. So, pretty much the first thing I want to get into and tell y'all, you know, if you don't believe me on my facts or whatever, check it right here in your Google or check it in your dictionary, prove me wrong. You know, I'm going to give me y'all um, pretty much all access to my case. And I'm about to take off with some facts. So, the first thing I want to get into that, you know, saying Columbus, the police department, they took an oath to withhold the Constitution of the United States. They took an oath to withhold that and protect the people. And we are the people. Me, you, and everybody is the people, and we as the people got individual rights. Now, if you choose to exercise your rights, that's up to you. Me, personally, I believe I got rights. I know my rights, and I and I exercise them every chance I get. So, on, on that being said, you know, everything ain't for everybody. So, the first thing, and you know, so they took an oath to protect us, and, you know, and, they, and if you don't feel protected, well, you need to be knowing this. If you if you if you're a person out there and you anywhere and the cops you know your community and they took an oath of protector, oath of, um, code of ethics, oath of office, you know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be um true, they're supposed to have integrity, they're supposed to have um, good character, and they're supposed to um reflect on the community they serve. So if you're in the community and the cops don't seem like they're protecting you or serving you, well you need to be watching this. Period, and I'm mean, like I said, I ain't going. I ain't gonna be like none of these other shows. I'm gonna expose everything. I'm gonna show y'all the facts and, and any other facts. I want y'all to challenge my facts and challenge what I say. And I won't speak nothing but the facts. So first of all, I want to get into um, some laws y'all should know. Some some laws from um, the United States District Court, and they say. We, you know, what I'm saying they recognize we do got rights. They recognize the Constitution. They recognize that um, the oath the police took to withhold to the the people, the citizens, and the people we protect. So they say, you know, if somebody's break your laws and they acknowledge it, and somebody I'm going to get your rights. It costs three fifty. You can go straight downtown on Marco, downtown in Columbus, Ohio, right across um, the Columbus Police Department. If you got three fifty, your case can be heard. And in some cases, you can just go to the um, carpet courts, and you're okay. You know what I'm saying? You can be free. They can sit in front of a judge, and, and they say this. They say, um, and like I say, you can inf um, keep up and blog or whatever, find information yourself and search. But um, more, more duck, more more duck versus pen. Three nineteen U.S. 105 1943. No state shall convert liberty into a privilege, license it, and attach a fee to it. They, they say that um, that's unlawful. And liberty is your freedom, liberty is your God's given rights, unleanable rights. Rights that can't be taken away from you for no right, nobody, the rights that came from your character, your creator. And to get in that, your creator, which is your mother, Gave you, um, you know, when she signed your name, your name wasn't in all capital letters. However, your name filled out, and however your name is, that's you. And then you got to ask yourself and do the research and find out every time you get a bill, every time you get taxes, every time you got to go to court, every time somebody's trying to get some money out of you, they, they, they spell your name wrong. They put your name in all capital letters. And I'm saying whenever somebody puts your name in all capital letters, that's fraud. And, you know, again, do your research on why your name in all capital letters. I, I beg y'all to. And um, so getting some more. That's what they say. They say privilege, you know what I'm saying, liberty, um, converting liberty to a privilege, licensing, attaching the fee to it. Now, for y'all that don't know what that is, that's pretty much the four misdemeanors that I have. 
They took me out of my house, took me to enjoy my liberty. I took somebody walking up the street, not doing nothing, not, not messing with anybody. Took him to jail, took him to jail unlawfully, and attached the feet to it, and got him back out here on a privilege, on the conditions of not doing something or be going to jail. Now that's 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 a perfect example what the state the state should not do, unless they get jurisdiction. Jurisdiction is um, probable cause. Jurisdiction is uh, reason. Somebody putting their oath on it. A person hurt. Or you hurt somebody's property, or stopping somebody else's liberty, liberty, and them, them, them are true crimes. You know they, they took an oath. You know to withhold that. And these, these are the police, and their oath, their oath says, <laughs> you had a freedom of speech. I ain't got no freedom of speech because if I had freedom of speech, I wouldn't have got a, uh, my first charge wouldn't be abuse of 911 for calling the police on some police that's breaking my rights in my house keeping me from my property. Now if y'all you know if y'all if y'all know, if you don't know, I'm gonna tell you, you know, me my property is you. You are property, I'm property, the stuff you belong is property. The police here to protect your property. That's why most everything is is based off of property. When you go get into the constitution, you know, you're gonna find out that everything is property. First first um the most important black case ever in history, Dred Scott versus Stanford. You type that in, go to the appeal. That's a poor case. He, he lost off the of air and he lost because of his name. Because he was representing the name of a, um, that his slave master gave him, that his masters gave him, which was a Scottish name. So he lost off an of error, had a case, and, and lost his own. Um, this the first person that uh, took his a master, black person, took to take somebody to civil court and lost. Because his name was, you know what I'm saying, because he was representing the wrong name. So he lost his freedom, lost everything, all because he, he was representing uh, a, a name that wasn't his. And that's the name you got, and I got the name to try to get you in when they put your name in all capital letters. That's the power of the name, and you can read that. So they, they took an oath of office to protect, your, um, to protect your rights. And this says they're supposed to be protecting this um, Bill of Rights um, of the Constitution, Article 4. The right of people to be secure in the person's house, paper, and effects against unreasonable search and seizures shall not be violated, and no warrant shall be issued, but upon cause supported by oath and information. You know what I'm saying? With the particulars, describe the place to be searched and the person and things to be seized. Now, some uh, this that's that that was the full fourth. I'm gonna read the fifth. This ain't the full fifth. I, I suggest y'all read the fifth because everybody talk about the fifth. Oh, just um, the right to remain silent. But y'all, you know, whatever exercising the fifth. Well, you need to read the fifth because it's more than that. And I'm only reading probably about one. You know, what I'm saying two fourths of the fifth. So, so I'm getting into the um, fifth. The fifth says, Constitution. They they were supposed to withhold nor be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law, nor shall be um, shall private property be taken for public use without just compensation. I'm, pro I'm private, my home private, phone private, email private, my person private. I, I, I was taken and it was an unlawful due process because once they came to my house after my girl called, um, which her her um, which she called this the fact that she called the police. She she declared an emergency, and the fact that it wasn't no emergency, and that that any problems that we had after it wasn't no emergency was a civil matter, and we could have handled it, and it was out of their jurisdiction. So um, anything after that, and any force after that, any tactics after that would be committing a crime in itself and be going against their oath, because um, I I protected my oath. I mean, without my oath, but I protected my rights, and I protected my um, rights by reserving my rights, by not damaging nobody else's property, or person, or stopping the enjoyment of anybody enjoying their liberty. You know, that, that's what you do to stay out of jurisdiction, and know your constitution, know your rights, know these codes, UCC codes, USC um, codes, and, and stuff like that, the statues and everything. And that's, that's the important, and know your rights and know who you are. 
and just by finding out your name, you're gonna know a lot who you are. So, so pretty much, the the cops came in, they threatened me once I showed them the Constitution and told them they was I'm going against my rights, and that I was private, and that that my I see that my rights was being violated, and and after they threatened me, if you if you don't, if you don't do this, I'm gonna lock you up and detain you, and take you to jail. So that's what they say. I'm gonna lock you up and detain you and take you to jail. But actually, they're saying. In their in their in their language, in Black Law Dictionary language, Black's Law Dictionary language, they say uh, unlawful arrest, unlawful detain is kidnapping. So so she telling me, in other words, that I'm gonna kidnap you and, and, and strip you from your liberty and your property, and without due process, because if she take me, you know, and and it ain't, she she she's she's being the judge, the juror. And the repro, and the reaper, because she 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 sorting out my property. She moving my property, moving me, taking me unlawfully, kidnapping me. She sorting out my property, depriving me of my property, and I haven't even broke the law. And they took an oath, and as I could just as I just read to you, you know, what I'm saying what's in the Constitution, they took an oath to protect my property and everything. And the only thing they that's keeping me from my property is a threat. So um, I leave immediately, go outside, call the police, because I'm still not under arrest. So for the record, you know what I'm saying, I, I put that on there. Um, for the record, I ain't under arrest and I'm reserving all rights, and I realize my rights is being violated. The only thing that's keeping me is from a threat of being kidnapped. You know what I mean? I got the 911 call. I'm going to get the specifics on that on more detail. So they tell me that. But like I said, my first issue was um, abuse of 911. So if my first thing is 911, I'm calling because some cops violated my rights. If they was violating your rights, if they was doing something to a little kid or raping a little kid, what am I supposed to do? Not call the police? No, you're supposed to call the police if they're breaking the law. Ignorance is no excuse to the law. And then, you know, so if they didn't know the law, they should have known because they took an oath for it. People over here across seas dying for it. So they over there across seas dying for the oath. And they they they, they taking the um oath. You know what I'm saying? To withhold the oath for us, for the people, the people over there dying, for us to have rights. But we, as a people, ain't exercising our rights. And that's what that's the problem. But you know, that that's the individual problem. Me personally, I, I exercise my rights all times. And I reserve my rights all times. If you ain't got no uh, rights, you got privileges, privileges. And and if you ain't got rights, you you a slave. So so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get into more on the next one. I'm just gonna break that down and get some more further details. But like I said, on these, you can YouTube me. I mean, you can you can uh, leave comments and um, third degree spell everything out. T H I R D. Third degree degree master barber at gmail dot com. So stay informed. By the get on the next one, I'm gonna give you some more facts. And thank you.